Hello, my name is Anazi Ogeni Eddy, Super Eagles Mifida. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I mean, now, now, just press it. Um, I thought it was a good game, mostly mostly second half. First half we were a little bit because they had everybody back in their team and it's so difficult. And I th I think um, in the first half there was not enough of mobility in front in my front line. Um, and the only one or two times that we did it we were very dangerous and that was where we scored the goal. MNK and uh, we decided to come at second half and play more intensive high speed game which brought the second goal again penalty. I, I think uh, uh, but when you look at just one training section before the game is very difficult because it's very how can you achieve what you want to do when you only have on Thursday with the entire team to practice and play on Saturday very difficult but I still congratulate the players um, it wasn't bad. There are good things and bad things. Should I say ugly things? No. Bad and good. But we'll take it from there, but it's good. Arafat. Uh, coach, we, we saw a Malawi team that played basically defensive today. And it started a team that had Nam Yodua Madi, Victor Moses, Ahmed uh, Musa, in the team. I don't know what was on your mind when you brought in these three midfielders who are attacking inclined compared to the formation that the Malawians played. Well, the reason I brought we brought Odua Mari in is um, he's very quick on his feet. He's, he's a good dribbler. He can provoke, cause penalty or free kick around the 18 yard box, and he's a hard worker. He works very good. He's a team team player, and I think he was going to complement. Um, um, Mikel, Mikel, and Onaze in the front, and because they, we have very two good flank players, are very quick. And if Odramari and Mikel can give those passes to those four players, uh, we can damage. But now they all stood behind, so it was a little bit difficult for us. But that was uh, we saw a good thing about that today. Colin. Yeah, um, coach, I'd like to ask you first, you know, considering the difficult conditions, what was it about the way your team played with that pleased you uh, the most? And actually, Captain uh, Vincent, how difficult for you was it when throughout the first half the team couldn't get a goal? How important did you think that goal was right at the death? Um, the, the good thing about the game is my, the recovery of the players when we lose the ball. We lose the ball under two minutes or a minute. They won the ball back, and you know there is a lot of um, aggressiveness in their marking and going to the ball, which is which I'm trying to bring back to Nigerian football or Nigerian national team. It has been missing, a, a, you know, when for a while. So it's coming back gradually, and I like what I saw today. So if we can live on that, it will be much better. Okay, uh, Kalistu. No. no. Okay, okay. Um, that goal was more or less kind of an oxygen to a drowning man or to a dying man. We just needed something to hold on to, and it came right at the time we really needed it. You know, just before the half time, and um, just after thank God we pulled through this one. I mean, that's really how important it was. Okay, Kalistus, quickly, coach. We're looking at after if, maximum if, four if more questions. Thank you. Lose, needed to score three goals today to, to advance and with a one man down on the side of the Malawians, would the Eagles be able to achieve? Because some persons close to where I was watching said with a man down on the Malaw Malawian side, the Eagles should have just gone to roast the Malawians more. The Eagles should have done what? Roast. 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 Kill roast. Kill them, kill them as <laughs> you provide the coffee. <laughs> Well, I don't know about roasting them. <laughs> the thing is, um, most of us will think when um, your opponent is one man down, we think that is a, is a, is just a boulevard for any other team to go in, and that's the most dangerous period if you don't 
tactically, positionally, if you don't keep yourself, your team intact, you just, you regret that you played against 10-man ten, ten team. Um, Malawi is a good team. We didn't let them play, they didn't come out to play, but they are a very good team. Um, I don't think we had chances. We would have scored maybe four, five, six, but it didn't come. But I'm, I'm grateful to God that we scored two goals and we qualified with 12 points. That's the, the first hurdle, and, and that's it. Kazim, Kazim, Kazim. Coach, the, the slippery pitch played play a new role in the, the, uh, holding your team down. And the second thing is that the Malawian coach just said uh, he had questions about uh, the penalty, the red card and everything. Do you agree with him? I don't know. I'm not a referee. I mean, I'm a coach. I didn't see the penalty. If the referee calls in the penalty, it's a penalty. We've had that against us and we never complain. So um, the the pitch, the pitch, you know, the pitch wasn't bad because based on the rain that, that fell on Wednesday here, you would thought this game is not going to take place. Even this afternoon, we we're like, okay, more go play inside water. But uh, we thank God, the guys uh, that are taking care of the stadium, they're not doing a bad job. Um, we just hope they continue and uh, we'll keep, keep doing what we're doing. Awesome, then we'll take the two of you. Awesome. All right, uh, uh, Coach, uh, please, I, I just want to find out now, uh, because I remember that if I ask you a question after this time around, after this time out, you're going to tell me that you're still building a team. Have, have we stopped building a team at this stage? That is one. And of course, uh, taking a look at your team, you think you have a team that can withstand any team that comes our way? Are we finished? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you see, no matter how, how long you have a team, there's still one or two players that you might see you want to bring into the team. You still, you still continue building. You, you know you understand what I'm saying? There's no way you're going to have outright 11 players or 18 players for two years. You don't change one or two players. It's still the same. So if I have one or two good players coming in, much better than what I have here, I will have to change. It's part of building too, because they have to learn our style of play and how we play our game here. Um, what's the next question? Are you confident Are you with what you have already on ground? Of course I'm confident. I'm confident. <laughs> What I have here, the group I have here today, I'm confident against anything. And you know, so so quickly, quickly, so now that, quickly. So coach, now that we've qualified for World Cup, the final round. No, it's just making a prophecy. Prof yeah. prof <laughs> no, it's just making a prophecy. Like the Soviet Union team are actually Um, like I just, I just told him. Um, if I have, um. If he's in the midfield, attack, even the goal, that I have somebody that's much better than him, I will put him on the bench and play him. And I, it's not about me, it's about this country, it's about this flag. You know, some, it's not a, it has nothing to do with the individual or the person. It's when we brought in Sunday Olisa, when we had late Thompson Olia, for four years he was, he was general in the midfield. Olisa came in. After two games, Western have said, hey, stay here, this is my play. And that is it. So it's not about sentiment, it's not, it's, we need players that's going to give a result. And that's it. And you know, Shalom, final question. You are not caught.